Hello to YouTube. Today, I'm going to be doing another video. I think it's another video on how to get more frames in Minecraft. So let's get right into it. Um, So first, let's go straight to Minecraft Launcher right now. So, because there's a few things you can do in it that can give you more frames. I hit JVM arguments. Now, normally this would be set to 1, which is bad. Very bad. That is that is not good at all. So you will want to set that according to something else, which is your RAM. So to know how much RAM you have, if you don't know at the moment, just go to like Task Manager and Performance. So... I have 8 gigs, but it says 7.9. So just forget about that. Let's go to available. So I'm just going to leave an extra gig. So I'm going to say I'm just going to put it as 4 gigs. So that's going to leave me around 2 gigs to spare doing other stuff. So just change this XMX 1G. So that's XMX 1 gig into XMX 4 for me, but. For other people, it may um, be different. So after you do that, you just hit save. Now there's another tip I can tell you, which is install Optifine. Okay, Optifine is the only way to get the substantial frame boost. I don't. I'm pretty sure I shouldn't have to have to teach you how to install Optifine. Basically, all you have to do is just download it and basically install it i mean it doesn't really require any assistance at all just go to downloads and whatever version you want go to it older ones i guess they took them off i mean 1.6.4 was up here previously but i guess you know for some reason they took them off i'm not gonna read that but for me i downloaded this one i just hit download then install if it's showing up here nope it's not but basically, I have it installed. And once you have it installed, go to the Optifine profile and then hit play. Now, it should download a few things. It's not a lot. If you have, if you don't have like some potato internet, then it won't take you more than like 10 seconds to get it. All right, it's cool now. Hey, let's go. So, <laughs> so basically, as soon as you get into Minecraft, you're gonna have to stress test it. So this is just the world I made. Don't worry about that. Let's create new, creative, then turn this to amplified. Amplified, it, it's basically, it's a very, I don't know how to explain this. So I'm just gonna, requires beefy computers it doesn't really i mean all you need is you don't, you don't even need like uh you can have like a 50 dollar gpu and run it but just open up and amplify the world and hit start so my frame rate right now is around if i run if i just fly around i'll say it's, it'll be 30 plus because i'm not keeping 60 frames am i probably not but you see, this this you're stressing out your world right now. So, for most people, this would vary. For me, I'm getting 60 constantly, barely. I don't want this lag. This is laggy a little bit because I'm dropping frames a lot. So, if you want more frame rate, you know what you have to do. You have to make the looks go away a little bit. So, let's see. So... We should start off with performance, smooth FPS. Put this on, so this would make it, so it doesn't, you don't have crazy drops like that. So now I'm getting almost one, mm, eh, still 60 constantly. I want a constant 120. 120 frames is good for almost pretty much anyone. But right now, you see, I'm getting only 112, 198. It's not perfect. I suggest turning some of these off. But for video purpose, I'm just going to turn all of these off at once. 
it should help me somewhat and if you don't see any drastic improvement not everything is going to make a huge improvement so you see eh, still 60 constantly take down performance why have them on in the first place take them off boom no clouds and now we are getting pretty much 120 constantly nope nope it went 108 that is a drop we cannot have that so it looks like we have to drop some more put it on fast i mean please load these load chunks all right so you can see this is what better grass or fast grass gets you i mean it's all right but it doesn't really matter that much i mean it's grass i mean it's not that big of a difference we're going to turn the graphics on fast please load i like to spin around in circles so my chunks can load you don't have to do that but it's just me personally so now let's see if we can keep the 120 that's all we want and if we do tend to keep the 120 i will continue to um push the um tell you what uh you can do to even get more frames so right now we are keeping it went down to 121 let's see up yep, 105 115 actually i can't i'm not counting right i guess we'll turn off smooth lighting smooth lighting it really makes the game look bad honestly you can see like the lighting is like square like right there if smooth lighting was on you can it would be like a fading thing like a fade between blocks which is it makes the game look a little nice but you see let's see if we can keep the 120 so now we can turn fog off uh, I honestly don't like this and I'm just gonna turn a whole bunch of stuff off right now so um let's see uh details trees fast I think there's a wisp in my mic. Let's turn all this on. Let's turn rain off. Shadows off. Shadows actually is very critical in games. Well, this game, shadows aren't that dangerously frame dipping. But in most games, they are. Um, That's pretty much it for this. Dynamic FOV. Changes the field of view when sprinting or pulling out of bow bow that doesn't seem like it would be that crazy um we're keeping for now we'll keep this at eight and that's pretty much a lot that all we can do with this um let's see increase fps there yup um fps stabilization only effective for a single player okay so that looks like that will work fast render uh, may substantially increase frames. All right, so let's spin around in a circle. All right. So let's see if we can keep the 120 now when everything is off. And it looks like we can, but nothing is we are nothing is popping up like a village or something. But we're at 160, which is okay. I mean, up 120. Okay. Ooh, that was close. And I guess we can keep it. 213 right there. But we can keep 120 on this. Hey, gravel falling. But up oh, 108. All right. So now, then if you, if it comes the worst, turn your your render distance down. Render distance is the most frame improving thing out of everything, but it's the most wanted thing. So now let's see um, what to do once you actually hit your dedicate your dedicated amount of frames. So honestly, me, I could deal with 60 frames per second. That is okay because my monitor is 60 hertz, so it doesn't make a difference if it's either 60 or 120. I just wanted 120 for the video to see if I can actually reach that. But oh, music, turn that off. Up, oh, wrong thing. Um, 
Where's music at? All right. So music, uh, not music. So once you hit your dedicated frame limit, me for me, it is 60 for everyone. 60 should be the minimum. So once you hit your dedicated right now, go to that. Go back to your options and basically start to rise things again. Now, if you can run amplified world with these settings you would be okay in a normal world because in a normal world none of this high stuff look at that none of that is going to be loading none of nothing i'm pretty sure nothing i don't even what is what is height in this world x y 155 up nothing is going to be that high and again this is higher so if you're getting constant 60 with maxed out on this then you might be okay even to run shaders and i want to see all this fall i'm just going to do this because i know my computer cannot run this i'm gonna need a better cpu to run this but let's say hopefully i go under 60. so let's say you hit the perfect spot like you're getting a constant 60 or I'll say you get 75. You get a constant 75. Cause sometimes, you know, you might get a random frame drop. So let's say you might, you're at the perfect spot. That means you are perfect for normal world. You're perfect for it. That is the ultimate, this is like the ultimate, let's put this on times that day. If you get 60 constantly on Amplified, if you go into normal world, you will even get more which give you extra frames if you know like i'm not showing like explosions and you know you'll get extra frame with your extra frames if you have like a couple mods then you'll be cool but if you have like a feed the beast pack or like dire wolf 20s pack mod pack then you might need to lower some stuff because that adds so much stuff that you know it's going to take it's going to play a toll on your frames a lot so let's say you are still not getting your perfect frames. There's a few things that you can do. Nah, for a list, number one, update your drivers. NVIDIA users, just um, go to their website or go just Google your graphics card most of the time. And dude, it's going to take you to either NVIDIA or AMD and you'll be cool. Just update. If you're still not getting frames, getting good enough, good, getting good enough frames, I would recommend. This is another free way. Going, let's exit out. Let's just close short Minecraft, right? Minimize Minecraft. Go to Task Manager. And Minecraft is, wow, it's using up one gig. All right, go to Minecraft. Uh, go to Details. And make this priority high. I honestly don't think I should I can't do this because I'm recording and it's gonna mess up the recording and make it look a little laggy or something and it already it's already a very bad recording already <laughs> but do that and it will basically focus minecraft over everything else I wish I could show you that right now to um give you a like a good view and show you that that actually works but unfortunately I can't now so you might have to just believe me but another thing and wow this actually looks nice another thing to do is this is the worst case scenario do not do this most of the time it's in full screen mode turn this if you need frames if it's that dire turn it to like at least 800 by 600 if you when you have optifying at least please please do not turn it on uh 640 by 480 please do not do that it will look the screen will look extremely small and the final tip i'm sorry but the final tip is to get a graphics card get a better graphics card for laptop users uh i'm not sure of a way to get more frames other than I don't know. I honestly don't know a way to get more frames if you're on a laptop. 
but basically get a better graphics card honestly for this video since i knew like i wouldn't be lagging that much i'll put it in my old graphics card what is it anyway i put in my uh r7 200 amd radeon r7 200 and you can see oh lag a little bit you can see it's running minecraft pretty well i mean and it's on amazon for like 20 dollars which hey it's a good it's an okay graphics card for minecraft this is only for certain people if you're in the four gigs territory upgrade your ram okay two gigs of ram is going to bottleneck minecraft in a way if if you if you aren't okay most like most games they require a certain amount of ram and wow this is laggy certain games certain games require a certain amount of ram even if minecraft recommends i think it recommends four still still get 16 8 get 16 or 8 four is the minimum four is bottlenecking a little bit ram helps a lot even if you're not in games games nowadays are requiring like 8 to 16 gig so uh, let's spin around in a circle with chunks load in you don't have to do this most of the time i like to do it because whoa they built this too wow these minecraft what oh my god minecraft is actually coming up but now you see that i'm at a constant 60. so yeah so if you if this video helps you out in any shape or form leave a like um if this video is too long i mean i've been talking for a while then just like it or add it to watch later so you can watch the end of it later even if this is the end so i don't know why i'm saying this but yeah this is that was how to get the ultimate fps boost guide boom title of the video right there anyways youtube i will see you later peace